when could a foreign country be able to impose, impose sanctions on a, a local government official? I mean, this is blatantly a violation of the principle of non-intervention. And obviously, it's politically motivated because those officials are enforcing the law. They are enforcing the law to ensure national security is fully implemented in Hong Kong. National security is protected in Hong Kong. They are the officials who are um, head of government departments, uh, head of the police, um, head of the um, uh, justice departments, and head of security bureau. And they these all these departments and bureaus are responsible to restore the law in Hong Kong. They are responsible to enforce the law in Hong Kong. And as a result, to target them out, single them out for individual personal attack, is to make sure that the rule of law is not maintained in Hong Kong to Hong Kong's disadvantage and to their advantage. They want to... Um, well, they want to participate in kind of revolution against China so as to destabilize it or otherwise hinder its development or otherwise because it's growing at the speed that is above them, they would take over um, some developed Western countries as probably number one in the world by way of economy, by way of growth and by way of technology. So this actually um, makes certain countries um, jealous. And politically, that's one thing that they can do is to intervene in the affairs of Hong Kong so as to make the central government worry about one of its territories maybe being alienated or gradually going away from, from the jurisdiction of the central government. So as a result, the one country, two systems was not so maintained.